Adam Bates with the Ohio Department of Transportation, and in this video I'll be demonstrating how to create a PDF package within Bluebeam Review. Now let's go ahead and open up Bluebeam Review. And then once Bluebeam Review is open, let's go ahead and go to the file, create, and then create PDF package. Once that's open, you can see that we can add files here with the Add Files button. Let's go ahead and click that. And you may get prompted with the ProjectWise login dialog here if you have ProjectWise installed on your machine. And if the files are located within your ProjectWise data source, then go ahead and log in and select your files. In my case, I'm going to select Cancel since they're on the local drive. And then we're going to navigate to those files. And as you can see here, we do have a few different files here. And I'm just going to briefly go over some of the naming convention here that being shown and what they all mean. As you can see here, we have the county and the PID and then plan for the first one here. And that's going to consist of the construction plans sheets with the exception of the right-of-way sheets, which as you can see here, we have separated out to plan right-of-way. Now, this is still considered part of the plan set. It's just going to have a subset number instead of the overall number within those sheets. We still want to call these out on the index of sheets so that they don't get left out. You can also see that we have a signature PDF here. And what this is going to consist of, depending on the project, if it needs it or not, is going to have non-sealed signatures. So this consists of city officials and local officials that is needed to sign off on certain aspects of the project. I also wanted to mention real quick here that if your project consists of multiple parts, that it still consists of one PDF package, right? So we're not going to have multiple packages per project. It's only going to be the one package. So I'll give an example here on the screen of what I'm talking about by the parts. And these are going to be called out with underscore part and the number at the end of the PDF, as you can see here. And if you have any more questions on this, I suggest taking a look at the Electronic Design Deliverables Guidelines. This should go over some more in-depth on the naming convention and the process. So let's go ahead now and select these files that we want to add to the PDF package. And then we're going to hit open. And as you can see now we've added these to the PDF package. We can also open all of these to take a look to see if the signatures need to be revalidated or if there's been subsequent changes to the documents. So let's go ahead and take a look through those. And as you can see, we do have signatures in here. Now let's go ahead and close those out that we verified those. And let's go ahead now and save the PDF package by going to File and Save. You may get prompted again. Let's go ahead and cancel. As you can see here, you're going to want to initially name the file as follows. Year, month, date, the PID number, and then plan set. Now this is going to be the initial naming for submitting to the district office. Now, once this is received at the district office level and reviewed by the PM of that project, this may change based on the type of submission that the project is being filed for. But if it's its first submittal, then it's going to be as filed. Now, this may change to pre-addendum or addendum depending on the type of submission that the project is. If you have any more questions on the naming convention and the submission procedure, I'd suggest taking a look at the project submission procedure document that's located within our ODOT website, or you can go to the wiki page and there should be a link offered there too. And I'll also post that here on the video. So let's go ahead now and save the file. And now your PDF package was now ready to submit to Central Office. If you have any questions or concerns on what we've just covered within this video, feel free to reach out to us at the Cadent Mapping Services Group via service request here. And we'll get back to you as soon as we can.